Guys, a big thank you to World of Warships for sponsoring this episode. We've been playing it all day and we're hooked. The game is free to play and referred to as the thinking man's action game because it's the perfect balance of action and strategy. You can command a massive naval fleet featuring some of history's most iconic war vessels. In this game, you can unlock new ships and dominate the oceans with 30 million players worldwide. Experience combat in weather effects that make each engagement unique and change the tactics of battle. At Simple History, we draw the artwork of the vehicles we talk about or feature, and World of Warships takes this to an extreme level of detail as each in-game ship is faithfully recreated using 3D scans of the real-life historical ship. World of Warships is constantly updating the game, so there's something new to experience with a steady cadence of new missions, game updates, and events. You may even be able to play a ship that you see in a Simple History episode, as there are over 200 ships available to play across 11 different nations. Use our exclusive code below and get a free premium USS Langley aircraft carrier, which allows for a completely different form of fast-paced World of Warships gameplay. Click the link below to play World of Warships and collect an exclusive bonus starter pack. New players can register with the code PLAYLANGLEY2019 to receive 300 doubloons, 1 million credits, the USS Langley Premium Aircraft Carrier, 3 days of premium time, and more. The ship that escaped capture disguised as a tropical island, World War II. HNLMS Abraham Kreinsen was a Dutch minesweeper built in the 1930s. There were many Allied ships present in Java, but the HNLMS Abraham Kreinsen would be one of the few and last to escape from the overwhelming Japanese forces in 1942 because of one ingenious idea. The minesweeper belonging to the Royal Netherlands Navy was stationed at Surabaya in the Netherlands East Indies, along with several other ships when the Japanese forces were sweeping through the Pacific and crushing the Allies. By February 1942, the situation was growing critical as the Japanese were approaching closer and closer. After defeating a combined American, British, Dutch, Australian fleet at the Battle of the Java Sea and the Battle of Sunda Strait the next day, the sea was now swarming with Japanese warships and the skies were covered with Japanese aircraft. Considering there were destroyed Allied cruisers and destroyers everywhere, there was zero chance of surviving an attack for a small minesweeper. All of the remaining Allied vessels were ordered to withdraw to Australia, those remaining being HNLMS Abraham Kreinsen and three other ships. HNLMS Abraham Kreinsen was an easy target. Slow moving and very lightly armed with a 3 inch gun and two Ehrlichon 20mm cannons. The other escaping minesweepers, HNLMS Pieter de Bitter and HNLMS Ilan Dubois, were scuttled to prevent them from getting into enemy hands, and HNLMS Jan van Amstel was destroyed by a Japanese destroyer in the Madura Strait with many lives lost. The only way to make it out alive was to come up with a creative idea. The idea? to turn the ship into a tropical island. The captain ordered the crew to get to work. They cut down trees and branches to camouflage the ship to look like a jungle canopy and painted the hull to look like rocks. All 184 feet of the ship had to be covered to convey the deception. Because the enemy was nearby, the Dutch crew couldn't risk them spotting a moving island. So they only moved under the cover of night, moving from island to island, anchoring close during the daylight to blend in so the Japanese wouldn't notice them. For eight days, the HNLMS Abraham Kreinsen and her crew sneaked past the Japanese ships and aircraft and reached Fremantle, Western Australia on March 20th, 1942. The only minesweeper of the four to make it out and the last vessel to successfully escape from Java. HNLMS Abraham Kreinsen's service did not end there, however. Once the minesweeper arrived in Australian waters, it was commissioned into the Royal Australian Navy as an anti-submarine convoy escort vessel. Its Dutch crew were joined by British survivors of HMS Jupiter and Australian personnel. This led to a small feud as the Dutch and British both insisted that a portrait of their monarch should hang from the officer's mess hall, as was tradition. Eventually, it was decided that Queen Wilhelmina of the Netherlands would stay up instead of King George VI of the United Kingdom. Once again, thank you to our sponsor, World of Warships, for sponsoring this episode. Click the link below to play World of Warships and collect an exclusive bonus starter pack. 
New players can register with the code PLAYLANGLEY2019 to receive 300 doubloons, 1 million credits, the USS Langley Premium Aircraft Carrier, three days of premium time, and more.